my god. Here we go. Uh. Holy crap, she's going to land Oh my her. god. Two years up. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to build an online presence. Well, well ahoy there, there cruises. cruises, and welcome to St. Martin. Wow, we're in another port. We've docked successfully, we're allowed to get off. We are again very lucky. We're gonna have a fabulous day on board filled with food, fun, beaches, shopping, planes on Maho Beach. So you're gonna to wanna to join us. But first of all, David, we need to go for breakfast, don't we? Yeah, we need some coffee and we need fuel to energize our day in one of our favorite ports, St. Martin. I'm so excited, so let's go. Get those hands nice and clean, David. Clean. Don't be mean. Wash your hands. Like a band. Band. Can't think of <laughs> anything that rounds your hands. Oh my gosh, how good does the breakfast items look? That salmon looks incredible. I don't think I've seen salmon like that on a buffet before on a cruise. Well, there's like four different types of salmon. Yeah, beetroot salmon, squid ink salmon. She would be adventurous for breakfast. Squid ink salmon, yes. no thank you. Salmon roulette. So my worst nightmare. I always love spying what other ships are in port with us today. Today we've got Mein Schief, the uh, German Tui cruise ship, and Rhapsody of, the, Rhapsody of the Seas. And Oasis is just pulling in. Is she? Oh yeah, do you think she's gonna come here? Oh, she's gonna block our view, our beautiful sunshine view. Well, welcome to the Windjammer Buffet. Once again, lovely and quiet, which is really unusual on a cruise. So, so glad that we've got an empty cruise. Anyway, we've got coffee. Legitimately fixes everything. It's like duct tape, innit? If you've got any problems in the world, have a, have a cup of coffee and you'll be fine. Uh, Oasis of the Seas is finally just pulling in behind us. So we've got quite a full port today. Anyway, for breakfast, lots on offer as usual. So much more than on the European cruises. The buffet option is so much better on here than it was on Harmony. I know we've said that before, but it's really great. I've got some avocado on toast with some mozzarella and it looks really wonderful. They were just making them up there in the, on the buffet. And I've got some of my favourite, so corned beef hash, but I've got something called a biscuit and gravy. What the heck is a biscuit and gravy? Because a biscuit from where I come from is like an Oreo cookie. I'm very intrigued. It contains pork apparently. And gravy is supposed to be brown, not white. I'm very, I'm very confused. I've, I've, I don't think I've ever had one of these before. It looks almost like a scone. I'm very intrigued. I'm going to try it first. Let's have a try. Biscuits and gravy. I know it's an American thing, but I've never had it before. Wow, that's not what I was expecting. I like it. It's like almost, it's like sweet and savoury at the same time, which is just hitting every, hitting everything that you want in life, isn't it, for breakfast? I don't even know what I think about that. I have mixed feelings. I think my brain, my little brain needs some time to process exactly what I've just put in my mouth there. The combi fash is the one. It's absolutely delicious. I'd just be happy with like a giant bowl of that every single morning. Let's talk about brunch, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things about to come into my mouth because that, sound, that sounds a bit rude, but I'm talking about an avocado toast. This it looks really good. I think this is going to be messy. Let's have a try. Thank God it is quiet and nobody's looking. That is really delicious. Oh my God. The guacamole and avocado is absolutely delicious. Finished off with the mozzarella. A very happy Ben. Delicious. I have a salmon schmogger's board and um, I had to try them different types of salmon and the uh, the server joked he went you know exactly what you want don't you because I went straight up I was like I'll have that 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 and that please so I went for the beetroot salmon never had this before I'm gonna make a bagel in a second but I just want to try the salmon by itself when it comes to food we are quite decisive it's nice salmon it doesn't really add any flavor the beetroot I think it's more for color it's quite nice though this is the squid ink salmon Ugh. That sounds, that legitimately sounds like my worst nightmare. It does. It's a really, really subtle flavour and it's actually less like, like pickly than the, um, the beetroot salmon. And one of my favourite things in the entire world is avocado on toast, isn't it, Ben? It is. Yeah. Ben, like, always, if we're ever doing something special, it'll always, like, make me avocado on toast at home on sourdough bread and it's my favourite thing. I love avocado on toast. I'm a happy man. Ben, I have a little treat for you that I picked up oh. on my way back to the table. Oh, I was gonna say I've ate a lot, but my savory stomach might be full, but my dessert stomach is ready for more. Look at this beast of a donut. It's a lemon meringue donut. 
It weighs about the same of a baby. This is why we put weight on cruises. But I have to say, I am into fitness. Fitting this old donut into my mouth. <laughs> Buy me slippers and call me Dorothy. Oh my gosh, that is delicious, David. What's on the inside? Tangy and sweet. It's full of like lemon sauce and meringue on the top. It is absolutely delicious in every way. I think you knows what you're talking about, Ben. What? You've done very good lip service to that donut. Oh my God, I've got all of my nose. Oh well, another day, another 26,000 calories. It's cruise life, isn't it? They are better than, they are genuinely better than Krispy Kremes. Absolutely delicious. So wonderful. I got a muffin and now I feel positively inadequate next to that donut. It's how, maybe it's got a surprise for me on the inside. It's okay, it's just a little bit dry. Right, we're all set to get off, aren't we, David? We've got so much stuff. Are we moving home? I know, we, it's all the equipment, it's crazy. Yes, equipment, swim shots. Have we got towels? Sun cream, towels, you can take the towels from the ship. Definitely get yourself a beach bag, it's invalu invaluable. The backpack we've got just got all of our equipment in, so you don't really need that, but a beach bag, best thing you can get, isn't it? Yeah, I like to bring two, I like to bring like what I call a dirty wet bag so the one that's all sandy all your wet stuff in this bag and then in this one we keep nice and clean and dry and if you want to keep your cabin clean as well put your sun lotion on on the balcony if you've got one just because it or the bathroom because especially ours is so slippy it turns like the floor into an ice rink we have a spray one yeah. and yeah it makes it slippy <laughs> it's supposed to it's really protective but it's also super super greasy and horrible but I'd rather be greasy and horrible than um, a beetroot. Exactly. Let's go. Back to St. Martin. Third time here. Well, that's a rather creaky ship. We were so late getting off the ship and it was completely our fault. We'd had a long breakfast, slept in, procrastinated in the cabin. Honestly, you don't get long in port, so you need to spend as much time as you can off the ship rather than on it. Well, welcome to St. Martin. Once again, we're parked and docked right next to the oasis of the seas. Back with her again. Anyway, let's head in, grab a taxi and organize some type of tour for today. We're not doing the shore excursions again because we can save a lot of money doing it ourselves. I'm excited, so let's head off. So here in the port of St. Martin, there's a few shops. There's uh, your usuals, your Diamonds Internationals, your liquor stores, your jewellery shops. Also a couple of bars as well. And you can get a taxi, a water taxi into the town from here. Seven dollars? I think it's, yeah, seven dollars round trip. But we're going to head this way to get a regular taxi and see what we can barter for today's taxi tour. A lot of places nowadays actually have a list of prices of some certain places. Which is so good. It's super handy because then you know exactly what you're supposed to be paying. But even if it says on the, um, the board, always, always double check with the driver before you get in the car. Just say, look, how much is this? If they say it's a different price, go, uh-uh, not today. Off we go to Orient Bay. Alrighty then. And this is where our tardiness really caught up with us. We got to the beach far too late, which meant we had to rush and the weather took a turn for the worse. And whilst we were rushing, we forgot to pop the microphone on. Oops, sorry guys. So we're here, sat down. The first thing we needed was a beer, of course. We are in the Caribbean, so we got a Carib beer. Best beer of the Caribbean, hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful beer. Two dollars! What an absolute bargain! The beer and the drinks in the Caribbean tend to be very, very cheap in the beach place side. They take euros, dollars, card, you name it. But on the French side, they do tend to take euros more than dollars, but they'll accept anything. Money is money, isn't it? But anyway, cheers guys. Let's squeeze my lime and have a drink of this beautiful, refreshing drink. So delicious. You can't beat a Carib beer in the Caribbean. Cheers, David. <laughs> What are you sinking? The problem with sitting on a stool that's on sand is that you tend to sink. <laughs> is it slowly sinking into the water? <laughs> <laughs> Quick sand! Somebody save David! Oh my gosh, I just got soaked. My god, it's like a, it's, a, it's, it's got very windy all of a sudden. I'd rather have Caribbean rain than British rain though. Oh, me too. Quite refreshing actually. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. 
Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that allows you to build a beautiful online presence. It took us just a few hours to get our brand new website up and running thanks to the customizable templates and powerful page builder. You can easily add elements to your page including galleries, member-only areas, contact forms, appointments and much more. For us, Squarespace is really the perfect platform. We can quickly add posts and updates in seconds using the blogging tools. We can gain powerful insights with the analytic tools and seamlessly integrate our social media channels. But it's capable of so much more, including building full online stores and much more, without needing to code or have any web design experience at all. Head to squarespace.com now for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Ben and David to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Right, so it's far too stormy, windy, and the seas look really, really rough. And the beaches aren't as pretty as they usually are because they've brought up a lot of seaweed. So we're gonna move on a little bit faster. We were gonna go for a swim, but oh my gosh, they're bringing everything in now because it is really, really stormy. I do love a good Caribbean storm though. It's still beautiful and warm. So we're gonna head over now to Marhol Beach to watch some aeroplanes come in. Then we're gonna continue exploring the island. We're gonna try and do as much as we can in the little time we've got here. Let's do it, let's move on. Now we've just got to go find a taxi, but let's wait until this rain calms down because we can't get you and our lovely little equipment soaking wet, can we? Uh, the traffic was so busy because we hit rush hour. This is really bad planning on our side, but we finally got to Marho Beach. Welcome to the world famous Marho Beach. Now this is one of the most famous places and airports in the whole wide world. Now, have you seen those pictures of the planes flying over that beach? Very, very low, the big planes. Well, this is the place. It's such an awesome place to come. We've just got a plane taking off now. The weather is a little bit iffy, guys. Oh, we've got one going right now. I'm ready for this. Is it blowing your hair away? My, my hair was going to fly off. Oh, how awesome is that, David? That's awesome. They've got some power on them. But this is what it's all about. This is one of the most amazing places that we've ever been. It's such a good place. And if you do come to St. Martin and haven't been here before, you have to because you are missing out. Now, we're waiting for one of the big boys to come in. It's coming in all the way from Paris in France. It's an Air France aircraft and it's going to fly right over us at any moment. Fingers crossed, the weather is staying okay at the moment. Let's do this, I'm really excited. It's just a little one. Oh, David. She's, she's coming in. She's coming in. I'm a bit scared. Oh my God, Ben, she's gonna land on top of us. We're multitasking here. David's recording on, his, on our phone as well. Hey. hey. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Here we go. Oh. Holy crap, she's going to land oh on us! Oh my god! Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Look how windy it's got! That's awesome! It's super windy! <laughs> that, was that was awesome! Freaking awesome! That is so much fun! This is the famous Sunset Bar. You can come here, get some food and drinks and watch all the aeroplanes land at the airport. It's really cool. Oh my gosh, you can hear another plane taking off. Every time we've been to St. Martin, we've been to uh, Marho Beach uh, for the Juliana Princess Airport, and it really does not disappoint. It's such a fun day, honestly, but do be careful. Generally, those jet blasts are bloody crazy, especially with some of the bigger planes. That was only a smaller plane. Anyway, we're gonna head back now to Philipsburg, which is the main town here in the, on the Netherlands side. Do a bit of shopping, have a look around, because our time, has been short but really good it just goes so quickly when you're in port well they always say time goes quickly when you're having fun don't they so such a shame because this is our last port as well absolutely sucks but hey up oh, and another one going as well nuts it's non-stop at that airport so this beach is actually really nice and it is legitimately about a 15 or 20 minute walk from the ship so it's by far the closest beach to the port and it really is lovely nice sand really soft and quite a calm sea as well which is really lovely crystal blue waters as usual 
palm trees and it's really close to the centre of Philipsburg as well which is the the capital of the Netherlands side it's really wonderful it's filled with loads of shops and everything and we're going to go take a look there now just enjoy the last of the few hours we've got here in Philipsburg it's just beautiful we've got the sun setting again I've got to say I think I do prefer the side on the Netherlands I know it sounds really tacky but there's just more to do here there's lots of shops and bars and restaurants and things so if I was you I would stay somewhere quite close to the port but definitely go to the airport as well but our ship is looking absolutely beautiful out there isn't she she's looking really wonderful glimmering in the sun oh I just don't want this to end I really don't do you David I really don't this is the sun setting on our Caribbean land adventure anyway really good but hey what can you do it's been absolutely wonderful in every way well this fountain's came in handy it's the perfect way of getting the sand out of your shoes and soaking myself at the same time oh i just got really wet oh well i still can't get over the fact of seeing christmas decorations and in particular a santa that is wrapped up for the freezing cold in the caribbean sunshine are you not hot buddy we're just in the shopping district in the downtown there is absolutely loads of shops it's probably the best place to come in the caribbean if you want things like jewelry watches electricals everything. electrical cigarettes alcohol there's actually no vat or tax here so if you are looking for something in particular price it up have a look how much it is on the ship and come into uh, the town and have a look how much it is in the town as well so what better way to get back to the ship than take a boat why not it's a unique way of getting back there we could take a taxi but it's the same price so we may as well get a lovely little boat it's starting to get really sunsetty out here as well which is so lovely it's so pretty we're so spoiled that we got to have two different uh, sunsets i still have a great love for st martin it's been a great day today i just wish we hadn't buckled up the sound earlier on and i wish we'd got up earlier as well because we got up far too late today because yeah. to be honest guys we were genuinely exhausted yesterday so we were we were working with our cameras and doing the vlog and thing from 5 a.m yesterday till about 10 p.m last night because we we're doing the ship tour and all of that jazz it's not a complaint we absolutely love it but we were really tired so we slept in till after nine today i wish we hadn't though and i wish we'd got off earlier because we could have seen more and done more but this is the importance of planning your day even if you're planning to do it yourself and do whatever you want plan before you come choose where you want to go choose the things the spots that you want to hit just so you don't have any disappointment oh i can see our boats come in now hopefully it's not too busy no it's good it's time to head back to the ship Boo. we're on the way back to the ship and we've got the most spectacular sunset don't we it is it's uh saint martin saying goodbye in sunset form but i'm um, really 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 sad this is our last part of call on this cruise oh if only it was longer me too oh look at this scene beautiful back at the ship that was a really really short um water taxi ride back we've got about 35 minutes until all aboard time and we're going to do something quite daring we're going to squeeze every minute that we can out of this vacation i'm going to go for a cheeky beer at the port but bear in mind it's a 30 second walk to our ship so we're not yes. going to miss it i wouldn't be so brave saying that over there but let's go for a beer we need to we need to make the most of this don't we last drink david and we could only afford one <sighs> just kidding we we actually could only have one because we've got about 14 let's have a minutes left we've got no we've got 19 minutes no 90 what nine can't, can't count yeah 19 minutes left oh my gosh so we're gonna have to down our little rum punch we have to have a rum punch i haven't really had now. one this whole trip and i was like i have to get a rum punch before we leave this island so absolutely cheers, cheers guys. ben we hope you've all enjoyed coming along with us don't leave us right now because we're gonna have one last meal on board and enjoy some more entertainment but we've had such a lovely time we really have and we've learned so many things and little tips and tricks and we hope that we've helped you during our video as well biggest tip of all just be flexible because things are changing all of the time but we've still managed to have such a fantastic time we truly have the crew have been outstanding the ship is amazing if you ever get the chance to go on odyssey we highly recommend it as we as you already know it's one of our favorite ship types anyway a couple of tips from our trip in the caribbean if you haven't cruised the caribbean before bring loads of dollars because they're accepted absolutely everywhere things for taxis and tips it doesn't matter if they have their own local currency as well they will accept dollars so it's so 
much easier getting them before you come. Oh, and don't use the ATMs on the ships as well because they charge a fortune, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. And even the ATMs in the port, we've had charges up to $6 just to use the ATM in the ports. So make sure you do bring enough cash with you and in small bills as well, because like Ben said, you're tipping all the time. A dollar bill here and a dollar there, just really, really important. The next big thing that we already knew, but we didn't do was really plan your day. As we say this morning, we really got off the ship far too late. We hashtag failed at our own tips. Absolutely. And when you had to factor in traffic and getting around the island, we didn't leave ourselves enough time to really relax and enjoy the island, really. So we're really, really kicking ourselves that we just didn't get up and get on with it and get off the ship to really make the most out of our day. Yeah, we recommend plan, 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 plan. And as we said, we did it so much cheaper than the excursions on board today. The, the three taxis that we got combined, combined today cost us $60. A tour from Royal Caribbean can cost $100 just for one of the things we did. So we've saved an absolute fortune, but always remember, leave plenty of time to get back to the ship. We're even stressed now and the ship's yeah. just there because, oh, last call at the, at the bar the bell, as well. Yeah. But, Last tip of all, if you're cruising during coronavirus, like we said, be flexible, but bring loads of masks because, oh my gosh, it's so hot wearing a mask outside, but don't let it ruin it. We're just lucky to be back sailing again, so enjoy it. And we've just had the best time ever, haven't we, David? Oh, I really don't want to leave. I want to stay in the Caribbean forever. No, I don't want to leave. This is so sad, guys. It's like our last sunset. I don't know if we've already told you, but we're going to be on the inaugural of Wonder of the Seas as well, so you're going to want to subscribe for that. Oh. The pump and the horns because it's the last I call think to that's, go. I think that is like get your books. get your butts back onto the ship, people, I, because I, we're going to go without you. Absolutely, I think they're going to come around with cattle prods in a second to get people moving. Right, we're going to finish this drink. We're going to down it because between us, between us, guys. <laughs> I asked for two straws. Is that a straw? <laughs> and I got the two tiniest. It's, it's, it's going to take me about four. And I think I don't know if it's a mix or a straw. It does it does have a blowhole in it, but it's going to take me about forty-five minutes. So we better get started. Cheers. Don't they both look spectacular? My gosh, ready. That was a quick change. We nearly missed the ship. Well, we didn't nearly miss the ship. We were on time. And when I mean on time, it was just 30 minutes past five or maybe 31 minute past five. We were a minute late to get back on the ship, but we were just outside the ship. We, uh, we, were, we were taking selfies and talking to our lovely subscribers that were on uh, the Oasis of the Seas. I think they had a half an hour later um, uh, check out but uh, we forgot about the time. Oh my gosh, they were so lovely. Lovely to meet everybody who we've met. Honestly, you guys are incredible. We love meeting you, but <laughs> we had a bit of a panic. We're like, oh no, David, we're, we're breaking all of our own advice here. So do yes. keep an eye on the time. We got called out by some Oasis passengers as well for yeah. breaking, the, they, breaking our rule. They saw us, they were like across the way, like we saw what you just did there, Ben and David. I'm not listening to your <laughs> advice anymore. Anyway, we're heading down to Chops Grill for our final meal of this cruise. Uh, just to Say that we haven't paid for this. The maitre d' is a, a viewer of our channel and invited us, so we said yes. Just to be completely and utterly honest with you, we paid for absolutely everything else flights, crews, meals, excursions, everything but he invited us and we said yes. So we just want to be clear about that, but we can't get bought off. We're still going to tell you what it's like and uh, the truth about it. So grab your masks, guys, and come with us and we'll head down to um, deck, I think it's deck five, for some choppy grillage. Yummy muck yum face, but yeah, wonderful day today. So good. We're on time for dinner. That's a first. Ish. Well, a very good evening, one and all, and welcome to the main dining room, or Chops Grill as we like to call it. This is the onboard American Steakhouse, and we're very excited. Guys, flickering lights on ships. We were just talking about this. The bane of our lives when making these vlogs are lights. So they are the, um, the, the lights like halogen lights and LED lights. They all flicker at different rates. You will not believe the amount of time we, we spend changing our, it's called the shutter rate, to get a correct light. But sometimes it's impossible. Honestly, you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. It's crazy, but I spent about 10 minutes trying to get it right and I still can't get rid of the bloody lines because all of the lights are flickering at different rates. So it's completely different. We don't usually talk about that sort of stuff, but 
<laughs> 15 facts you didn't know about Ben and David. We should do that through this meal. It's true, and if you're wondering what camera equipment we use, we use exclusively Sony now. So we use the Sony A1 system, and we have a few different lenses. We use primarily, this one is the 24 millimeter 1.4. We have the 35, the 80, the 70 to 200, and we use a Sony wireless lapel system. So for a little bit behind the scenes, we actually have microphones under our shirts, right here and right there, and it's a wireless microphone microphone system just because again on cruise ships it's really really loud so we want to have the best sound and avoid those copyright strikes as well so a little bit behind the scenes stuff there guys how crazy is that we put some stuff up on patreon as well so please consider being a patron you really help us pay for trips like this so we can bring you more content we put every single penny back into the the channel we really do so we've popped our orders in but we're not going to tell you what we've got it's going to be a surprise so you have to keep watching but first of all the all important course the bread we've got a pretzel bread and an onion bread and i'm going to go for the pretzel bread because i know it's very good from previous visits i love the pretzel bread it's so good because it's like salty with the butter really nice this is the biggest slab of bacon I've ever seen in my life. It is black peppered bacon and it looks wonderful. It's huge. Oh, it's very tender as well. Oh, the smell is delicious as well. So I'm going to pop this in my mouth and tell you what it's like. That's basically what our channel is, isn't it? Yeah. Popping things in our mouth and describing them. That is, I've had it before, but that is, that is a really good version of it. Sweet child of mine, as Bon Jovi once famously said. Really tender, bacony. If you love bacon, you're, you're going to be in a legit coma in heaven right now because that is, oh, delicious. And I got the tuna tartare. I do say, guys, I keep thinking I've not had stuff and then I get it and go, I have had this before. So it's a tuna tartare on a base of avocado and you know how much I love my avocado. You could call it a posh avocado on toast. That is full of flavour. It's got a really, really nice flavour to it. And the avocado is really delicious as well. To David's horror, they've removed the mushroom, the famous mushroom soup from the menu, but they've replaced it with something what I think is going to be delicious, butternut squash soup. Now, I'm not a big fan of mushrooms. I don't mind them, but not in soup fromage. So I'm going to take one of these beautiful, freshly made onion baguettes and try it with my um, butternut squash soup. I love butternut squash, so I've got high hopes. Fingers crossed this is good. Oh, Betty White, God rest her soul. I'm so upset about that, guys. Betty White, most amazing lady ever. I'm really good. But moving on, it, it, it's really delicious, David. It's really good. You've got to try it. Better than the mushroom soup, though. I don't, I don't like mushroom soup, so absolutely. It's creamy, but the flavour is really intense as well. Really well seasoned again. So I got the deep fried goat's cheese, but don't worry, it comes in a bed of salad, so that counter, that balances it all out, doesn't it? No, it doesn't, David. Don't try and kid yourself. <laughs> that goat's cheese is like really goat's cheesy obviously but, but then the salad's like really fresh and summery with the apples that really like cut through it it's really nice it tastes really light and summery which is what exactly what you want for the caribbean you're not kidding ben that soup is very very good but i miss my mushroom soup <laughs> it's not as good as the mushroom soup <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of this steak. It's 16 ounces. It is absolutely huge. It kind of looks like the um, United States of America. Sorry, my jokes are rarely funny. Well, the table behind you. Oh my gosh! Look at it. It's it's a it's a whole cow on my plate. It looks wonderful. Should we should we tuck in? Right, I'm going to go for Florida first. Oh my gosh! That is juicy. That is tasty. Our server, sally Ann, is amazing. She recommended this. That is absolutely delicious. What a wonderful, wonderful, amazing start to my steak. Lovely. We also got some sides, truffle fries. We've got some cream spinach, asparagus, and because we're classy, tater tots, because you can't go wrong with tater tots, and they all look wonderful. And I went for the salmon, and it's a beautiful piece of fish. It's gigantic as well, but not quite as big as uh, Ben's steak over there. So well cooked. It's really, really almost buttery. Especially that sauce is delicious with the salmon. Such a lovely meal. And I can't wait for it to try a tater tot. Well, I beat you to the tater tots, David. It's a tater tot race and I'm going first. These look a thing of beauty. Well, fry me in butter and call me a 24 ounce porterhouse. Oh, yeah, that's the winner. That's the real winner I right here. I could hear the crunch from here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm astounded at the portions of these foods. They're, they're huge. I've got the apple pie a la mode, and it comes with 
an apple pie the size of Symphony of the Seas, some ice cream and cream with lots of caramel. So let's go in for the taste test, shall we? I absolutely love that. It's delicious to the core. But genuinely, it's, it's honestly, it's absolutely divine. I mean, apple, caramel, ice cream, some crunchy thing at the bottom. It's, it's just beautiful. A thing of beauty. I got the key lime pie. I think it's about the third time I've had key lime on this cruise. It's like cutting through a cloud. It's so spongy. Oh, it's zesty. Really delicious, guys. Really zesty. I love the top as well. And like, I like the little candied fruit bits as well, because it adds like a real punch to it. Oh, I'm so full. The food was absolutely delicious. The only complaint I've got is that it was just too big. The portions were absolutely ridiculously massive. We weren't able to finish our mains or dessert because they were so big. It was delicious. The food was wonderful. Yeah, definitely the best chops experience. Yeah, we've had hit and miss chops before and that was the biggest hit we've had in chops ever. Wonderful. Sometimes you forget you're on a cruise ship, but then every now and again, the ship moves <laughs> and you think, okay, I am cruising. It just feels like a giant resort, doesn't it? Yeah, like a giant hotel. I mean, just look down there, David. It's a long way down, isn't it? <laughs> it bothers Ben more than it does me, the height problem. So after dinner, we're going to go burn off some calories and go for the silent disco, aren't we? Yes, so the Royal Caribbean silent discos or hush silent discos are usually really good fun. They are really good fun now. It's just that the ship is so quiet. It does struggle sometimes with big events like that where it doesn't have the normal atmosphere it does. It's usually really hilarious. There's usually channel two, two, two different channels in your headphones that you can turn on to listen to two different types of music. And when you take your headphones off, you hear everybody screaming two totally different types of music. And it's absolutely hysterical. There's usually a DJ controlling the two different types of music. But it's so, 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 much fun we highly recommend it and it'll be so much funner once these masks come off because it is hard to dance and, and sing at the same time isn't it you can't see people mouthing the words or anything cool so we're going to go watch some entertainment there's a comedian on and a few dancers and singers around the ship we saw two production shows in the theater showgirls as well as the effectors which is a superhero show with real life drones yes actual drones flying above your head it was really fantastic so that's it everyone that's our adventure on odyssey of the seas thank you so so much for sticking with us and joining us through this epic adventure we've had the most amazing trip thank you so much to all of those lovely people who came up oh. and said hello i know the ship is moving a little bit tonight and thank you to the wonderful crew as well you guys have been amazing we'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and the like button you do not know how much that helps us out it helps us out loads and a big thank you as well to all of our patrons you guys you guys are awesome thank you, you guys yeah you really help us uh, keep creating these videos if you'd like to become a patron in return you get some amazing benefits including ad free videos so you can watch our videos without all those annoying interruptions you can find out more about becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description section below and we can't wait for 2022 we've got lots of exciting things coming up covid permitting anyway <laughs> that's it till next time Happy, Happy cruising! Right, go finish brushing your teeth. Okay.